There are some products out there that I'm convinced exist solely to capitalize off irresponsible idiots that serve as nothing more than a public dunce cap for people to point and laugh at you because they can immediately identify that you are just stupid because you bought it. These are things like a shake weight or an NFT. Now I know some sensitive Sally crypto bros are probably a little upset that I mentioned NFTs here, but you have to admit how incredibly comedic it is to watch all of that money burn up over JPEG pictures of monkeys wearing hats. It is remarkable that anyone ever bought into the scam to begin with, which is why they get laughed at so heavily when all of it crashes. It is just one of those products that people will make fun of you for. You know, sometimes tough love is required. I'm not going to sit here and baby you, pat you on the ass and tell you a good game because you spent 15 grand on a fucking Google image that's minted on the blockchain. You just got to buckle down, grit your teeth, and face the reality that you bought something dumb. It's just that simple. But don't worry. I'm here to give you the final boss of dumb products. It's called the Mutalk. You probably already have heard of this because it went viral on Twitter recently. This is just one of those products that serves as this beacon to highlight financially irresponsible fools that are just so fucking reckless with their money they buy anything. Yeah, this absolutely looks like a fetish. This looks like some kind of BDSM gear out of Cyberpunk, but instead of getting a brain dance, you're getting a mouth dance. Now I know what you're thinking. Hallelujah, our prayers have been answered. For too long we've been plagued by voice leakage. It's probably one of the number one complaints I have in the modern society. I'll go out in public and I just hear so much leakage and it's it's overwhelming at times, you know, I just get sensory overloaded, I start to melt down, I curl up into a fetal position because I'm hearing all these conversations. But gone are the days of having that kind of meltdown because now we have this muzzle that's available where you put it on your face during a, a phone call, a meeting, or a gaming session, and you can yell, scream, hoot, and holler all you want, and no one's gonna hear you. Also, for people who have been around the channel for a while, you'll know that five years ago I made a video on something very similar called the Hush Me, which is this little saw trap for your face. It basically aims to do the same thing, but it's more focused on making sure people can't read your lips. So it's only actually good if you're some kind of super spy engaging in espionage and you don't want anyone to see what you're saying or who you're saying it to. But it's fundamentally the same idea. Just a fucking muzzle. So taking a look under the hood here, you have a little toilet seat for your face and it looks like it goes directly into the microphone. So my heart breaks for anyone that you're having a conversation with over the phone because every time you answer a question, it's going to be just screamed at them. It's going to be some way too dank shit. It's going to sound like an absolute fucking wall of noise. It'll be ear piercing because it's directly into the microphone and all of it is concentrated right into it. Unless they've somehow dampened it, which I imagine they must have. Surely that would have been a problem that they would have identified during testing. But then I feel like an even bigger problem they should have identified is how fucking stupid wearing this looks and why no one would ever subject themselves to the public embarrassment of having this strapped to their face. Now I think this is completely unusable in public unless you're cosplaying as Bane from Batman or if you just want to make sure you can scare every single person in the immediate environment around you. It's just I don't see any case where this could ever actually be acceptable to have on your face, it's fucking alarming. But I think the idea of having some way of dampening sound for private conversations in your own home could be useful for people that live in apartments with thin walls or if you're in a dormitory or any kind of shared housing really where you know you don't want to be like a, you know, loud around other people and disturbing them. I could see the core idea itself having some merit of just like dampening sounds so that way like your roommates aren't hearing you, but it's certainly not this fucking horse feeder. There's got to be another way because at that point you can just soundproof your room and it'd be a lot less fucking creepy. <laughs> So here you can see some ideal use cases, for instance, use in the metaverse. 
which no one's in the metaverse, so no one's going to be using it there. Though I think if you did buy into the metaverse, you're probably stupid enough to actually buy this, so perhaps this might see use from the four or five people that actually engage in metaverse shit. But the next one is gaming. So if you're a gamer who gets a little rowdy, maybe your parents would get this for you to, like, <laughs> treat you like some kind of fucking criminal in your own home, like Hannibal Lecter, strapped to the table with a fucking muzzle over your mouth because you yell too loud when you celebrate a big dub with your boys. Like, I feel like that'd be so shameful. Like, hold on a second, guys. Uh, I'm going AFK. I need to grab my gamer muzzle because I'm about to get really excited and heated in this one. Then you come back with your fucking face strap on. Like, it's so goofy. And then the other one is use in meetings in a noisy place. Maybe I could see some mental gymnastics to justify that, but I'll raise you a better solution. Don't take your meetings in a noisy public place. Go anywhere else. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Okay. No, 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 no. Ah. 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 Quiet. Oh, geez. My wife just came out here and told me that my yelling is making it difficult for her and her boyfriend to fall asleep. Uh, I guess I was getting a little too rambunctious. I'm sorry, dear. I didn't, I didn't mean to keep you two up. Uh, I'll go ahead and get the gamer muzzle out from the closet so that way you two can get a good night's rest. Another glaring issue with this is after some use, it's going to be revolting, just truly disgusting, and you're going to have to clean it out frequently because it's just a fucking cup, a little diaper for your mouth where it's catching all of your spit, all of your everything that comes out of your mouth into one giant petri dish in front of your face. It's going to be like a trumpet spit valve. It's just going to be fucking gross. And it'll probably end up breaking the mic over time because it's going to be constantly wet and moist. It's going to be this damp environment. You're going to form your own little biome in the goddamn you talk. So you're going to have to be like actually scrubbing that shit out. It just seems like such a hassle with very little upside. You could also just control your own volume if you're someone that gets really you know, fucking animated and goes super hype mode for gaming and you live in an apartment with thin walls, just maybe learn to simmer down a little bit until you can properly, like, soundproof the room. I wouldn't recommend getting this. I don't know why you'd want this fucking muzzle. It makes no real sense when there's easier ways of, like, dampening sound that don't require you to look like this. Also, when you pair this with VR, which they're hyping up a lot, it makes it look like you've been kidnapped by some kind of kinky pervert. So, like, you, you actually just look like you're in distress when you wear this in combination with, like, all the VR gear. He's not wearing headphones in this screenshot here, but add the headphones, and you've got yourself, like, a hostage situation. Overall, I just don't see any practical use for the Mutok other than just being, like, this badge of dishonor where you can proudly display that you bought the Mutalk and people can laugh at you for it. That's it. I just, I, I don't see why anyone would actually want this. Again, I do think there is merit to the idea of having something to dampen sound for like a shared home environment or thin walls, but this isn't it. There's definitely something else that can capitalize on that idea. So yeah, I just want to talk about this. That's about it. See ya.